Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we're going to do a highly requested new studio tour. So I'm on my vlogging camera, so if it's a little shaky, I'm sorry. I don't use it a whole lot, but I'm hoping to use it a little bit more. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, the first area you're going to see is this is where my little sleeping beauty poster is there is my dye sublimation printer i also have the google nest home in here so i can listen to music and plus it also cycles through my pictures down in the cubbies are extra projects camera equipment things like that see all my gopro stuffs in here more gopro stuff extra projects extra projects then I have my record player, more little tchotchkes, and I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioner. It is 101 outside, so there's no way I'm filming this without it. Then I have different types of papers, extra ink that I use for my sublimation printer, which is just the Sublijet HD from Sawgrass, more projects. There's cups back there in my CD collection. Yes, I still have CDs. Say hi, Layla. That's my Chihuahua. And she loves her mamas. And she loves her mommies being home for work so that way she can come and see and while well, she's filming. And she's got a gimp tooth. She fell when she was little and hurt her jaw. And then you're gonna go over here. There is the Mulan wood picture from the Disney Wisdom Collection. I started working on that collection and then kind of forgot about it, honestly. Then we have windows, plain white shears, more projects. There's some old windows in the back, my Steady Buddy, and then here is my Workbox 3.0 from the original Scrapbox Company. They sent this to me over a year ago, and as you can see, it is jam-packed full of all my arts and crafts supplies and some etc. Then we go to my favorite area, things I like to look at all the time because there is my computer with my editing software up. Then there up in the top there's scrapbook papers, letters, buttons, sequins, the whole nine yards. And then I keep extra office supplies and more projects and some polyurethane down there. So as you can see, this holds a ton of stuff and there's still room to grow. Then over here is my wall of cutters. So the shelf came from Ikea and I've got some little Disney figurines. There's my brother scan and cut there's my Cricut maker there's my silhouette cameo and then down at the bottom I have a black and white laser brother printer there we go I stored my 12 by 12 mats in that little cubby right there and then I hang my 12 by 24s off of some hooks I put on to the shelving unit then I have one of the not James Avery who is the painter of light? I cannot think of his name. Thomas Kincaid, there we go. The calendar with the Disney pictures. Then a lot of you are asking, that is my stitch door. That is printed on Oracle 651. Joe installed that. So that way I'd have some privacy. And it's translucent, and since the lights on are in here, you can't really see it that well, but it does show through really pretty. That love sign came from Hobby Lobby. We'll make a quick bypass past my makeup area. That's where I keep all my hair care. Layla, no one's gonna get you. There's my makeup table. All my palettes and all that fun kind of stuff, which I will go over a makeup collection video. More of the Disney Wisdom collection and then some of my favorite things. Oh, there's a level we forgot in here. And then down at the very bottom is more 
projects. Then I have a hanging rack in here with blank shirts so that way whenever I get a hankering to make something, for the most part I have blank shirts here. As you will see, there are lots of projects in here that we've made over the years. My G pillows. There's my big Eeyore my husband bought me at Disney World last time. Just a picture from Hobby Lobby. This is the Tussie heat press and I will be doing a review over it soon. And this is on just a really old rolling printer cart. And then in the cabinet underneath, I have my Cricut Easy Press, my regular iron, my Clover Mini Press, Teflon pillows, t-shirt guides, Teflon sheets. I'm sorry if this is shaky, y'all. My hands are shaky. There's the other a window in here. And for flooring, it looks gross. It had old linoleum in here. We pulled it up and then I decided I didn't want to put any new flooring down because I like to have a big open area in the middle of my room. So that way I can paint and stuff like that because I'm not a big fan of big tables. I'm pretty short. There's my Disney ears. So I was like, there's no point in putting expensive flooring in here just for me to get paint on it. And that collection is still growing. Pictures of the kiddos. All of my important files I need to keep. Not really, that's just pictures and junk like that. And then, and here is where I store the bulk of projects and things like that. This drawer is my favorite, which underneath the picture frames is all the letters and things like that that y'all have sent me. So that is all full of projects to work on. Then there is my little rolling cart that came from Ikea. They sell them all over the place though. And as you can see, I have vinyl and shirts in there. Those are projects that I'm planning on working on. The bottom row is the new crafting for Disney, which was going to go up today. But now I think I'm gonna put it up on Monday because it was a crazy day at the other shop. I still go by there, so you still have the chance if you come by to see me. And then there is my project table. And this little handy gizmo right here is to actually put the GoPro on. So that way when I'm working, you'll be able to have, as you can see, a good overhead view of what I am doing, which will definitely come in handy for Craftsmas. So as you can see over there, that's the main filming setup. The room is long and skinny. It is 12 foot by 26 foot. And then that is got picks and squeegees and cutters and all that fun kind of stuff in it. All the stuff you need to make vinyl. Layla is staring at her reflection in the glass and that's why she's freaking out. So as you can see, that is the whole computer wall, craft wall. And then let's do a backup view so you can kind of see how that looks my project area with all my mini mouse ears and then my area where i get ready which as you can see my google play buttons hanging up on top this picture of the pink volkswagen came from hobby lobby and i own a convertible pink volkswagen so i was super excited to find that so if y'all are interested in any of the storage ideas or how I have things organized, let me know. I can do a more detailed video over it. I didn't want this to be too crazy long. I mean, considering it is a small room. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. We post new videos Monday through Friday, and as soon as October 1st hits, we will be posting a new video every single day for Christmas. So that's some quick, easy projects that you can make yourself for the holiday season that is quickly approaching us. Check us out on all of our social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. I do all things makeup my clothing hauls, 
vlogs, all that kind of stuff's over there. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.